Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday. Hopefully, um, some of you will be about. Okay, so today's live is all about how to attract those wonderful new teamies in. Good morning, Kelsey. Morning, Paula. Hey, guys. Hope you're all good. So, um, I'm going to jump straight in so that you don't have to um, be watching ages of me say morning. Um, I am so excited to do this morning's live with you guys because this morning's live is all about how to um, draw those people in and how to attract them to your business. That big thing that we call attraction marketing. Okay, so I've got my notes, um, although I'm probably going to go off on a tangent and I actually probably apologise now. This one is probably going to be longer than half an hour just because there's a lot to sort of squeeze in. Um, if you've got questions, pop them below and I will answer your questions at the end. So, um, first of all, right, I just want to do a little intro. I know some of the days you're probably feeling as we're going on that um, Tam and I might be repeating things and we might be sort of saying the same sort of things, but there's a reason for this. It's because these are all things that work and these are all things that are from experience um it's just that reiteration and you being reminded over and over again of those same things so i know sometimes we might sound like we're repeating but it's all for good reason it is all good for good reason so today we're going to get stuck into attraction marketing probably the biggest way that i bring people into the business um has been through attracting people through posts attracting people through stories and attracting people from just being me Okay, I'm being, a, being my individual self. So I'm going to talk about it from social media aspect and then I'm going to talk about it in person aspect because I am aware that some people don't really use social media apart from to come on and do sort of trainings and that type of thing. So I'm, I'm aware of both. And ideally you need to blend um, you as a whole and your social media together to really get that boom and to get that magic, that magic equation um, with the attraction marketing. So what I want you to think about is how you attract yourself. If I was to look at you from the outside as an outside person and I'm looking in at you, what am I seeing? So what am I seeing? Am I seeing somebody that's happy, that's positive, that's smiling? Am I seeing somebody that's wearing the brand? Am I seeing someone that's using the brand? Or am I seeing the opposite? Am I seeing somebody that is miserable, is has that sad face on all the time that you wouldn't know from the outside looking in whether you're a sensory consultant. Um, maybe you don't talk about it to people in person. You would literally only post on your social media. So in person, it's really, really important that you basically are becoming the brand, whether that be through what you're wearing or whether that be through just you having regular conversations, you have got to be that brand. And the Sensi brand itself is all about Sensi spirit. It's all about, um, you know, being happy and hashtag that Sensi life. You're going to hear that an awful lot and you might see it a lot um, on Instagram and on Facebook posts. And you need to become that hashtag, basically. You need to become the, that hashtag. Now, the reason for that is because you need to be a magnet to people. That, so they're going to basically be attracted to what you're doing and they're going to see what you're doing and they're going to think, I want a little piece of the pie. So when you're out and about in person, I'm going to use um, me at the school as an example, just because that's what I know. So when I go through those school gates, now some of you might not be parents, so you apply this to however it works in your life. When I go through those school gates, um, I make sure there are a few things happening. At least once a week, I've got branded clothing of Scentsy on, whether that's a Scentsy hoodie, a Scentsy hat, I've got a woolly hat, I've got a t-shirt. Um, I find some sort of way to wear some sort of Scentsy branding as I'm going through those school gates. Every single week, there will be some sort of Scentsy branding that is on me at least once a week. And um, bear with me one second. Downstairs, please, babe. Oh, that's fine, yeah, it is to take you. Sorry, auntie needs to go to the toilet. Um, always middle of the life. Um, so, as I go through, at least once a week, that's it. At least some kind. At least once a week, I wear some kind of branding that is going to allow people to realise that I am a sensory consultant. When I, you know, have those conversations in the playground, I'm smiling. I'm happy. Now, I might not feel like that on the inside. I might not necessarily ha be having the best day in the world, but people aren't going to know that on the 
as I go through those gates, they are literally going to see um, that happy-go-lucky, smiley person because it's going to attract people to come and have a conversation with me. Now, we might not necessarily be talking about Sensi every single day in the playground, but I might be chatting to one of the mums. They come and have a chat because I'm smiling. Um, I'm open. I'm warm. I'm drawing people in. And therefore, at some point... Um, if I have that, if I'm standing with them for a few days, I can literally drop it into conversation. Something about, you know, um, something about my sensory life. I've been able to do this today because I've been doing deliveries. Or I've, um, me and Artie have had a day doing this today because I was really lucky and I got paid quite a lot of money this week. So you literally can drop that sensory life into your everyday lifestyle. But people have got to be seeing you as an approachable person. There's no point in having resting bitch face on 24-7 and then they don't want to come and approach you and have a little conversation with you so definitely how you're branding yourself and how you are behaving in yourself and how you are you know approaching people is number one, getting poor connection can you hear me okay keep saying poor connection it's really windy out i've got a feeling it's causing havoc so you need to make yourself that magnet um okay so in terms of social media now social media is where attraction marketing plays a massive role um, and this is what I want you to think about. So I want you to think right now about things that make you stop and look at them on social media. What pictures, not what, what adverts, not, not oh, it could be an advert, but not what bulk test, text, what pictures draw you in? What pictures make you stop and literally then read the post because you are always, 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 and this is something you can have a little think about in your mind as you're doing it. Um, when you're scrolling through Facebook and when you're scrolling through Instagram, what makes you physically stop and then read the post? Because it will always be the picture first. You will be drawn into the picture. It's like a magnet, draws you in. And then you will read the post because you're interested in what that picture is. So the same as my husband was watching a video this morning and I stopped and I, I looked at what he was doing and then I, I read the post that was attached to the video. So what is it that stops you and draws you in? Here's an example. This, I've used this a couple of times this week, so if you've seen it, I apologise. This or this. This or this. This or this. Hopefully you're getting the idea. For me... My biggest sales come from posts that involve my mugshot in them. I don't know why. I do know why. People want to see you. They want to see who's behind the brand. They want to see who's behind So Sense with Lisa Allwood. If they never see Lisa Allwood, they're going to be like, who is that girl? So therefore, as soon as I post an image um, of me... Now, if you don't like your face, there are people that are going to say to me, I don't like my face, I don't want to pick, post a picture of me... You can put a filter on it. You can put dog ears on it. You can put the Mrs. Hinch filter on it and make it fun. Make it um, excitable. Draw people in that way. It doesn't have to be, you know, every picture I put on pretty much has got a filter because this face doesn't look perfect, honestly. Very far from it. So, I mean, this was filtered probably about three times. But straight away, I put my face on it. I give a real um, review of how this particular product is benefiting me. I, the words on this are not, buy my scent, for, my fragrance flower in five different scents. My words on this was, ooh, this little fragrance flower is everything. Oil, the oil inside lasts 60-ish 60 60 days, comes in four beautiful fragrances, this is an old old post, and puts out the most fabulous scent in any small sp space. I'm using Luna, by far one of my new favourites in the autumn catalogue. So, that is there. If I then put this on, which tells you all about the fragrance flower, all about the information, people aren't going to read that. They're going to scroll and buy. Whereas this, for example, I'm giving that real how I'm using it. I'm attracting people in. So therefore, that's the same as when you are trying to sponsor people and you're trying to bring people to your business. If you've got posts that are real and you've got posts that have got your face on them and have got, you know, you using product, for example, they become drawn into your page. Therefore, they're going to scroll through your page and they are going to see your join posts and your recruitment posts. And those amazing posts are going to draw people in. Now, here's the, here's the, the crux of it. When you are putting out a join post, 
it's really important that you are viewing your join post through the eyes of somebody that is going to be scrolling through Facebook, scrolling through Instagram. You've got to make it exciting. Just posting a picture of the join kit sometimes is not going to be something that is going to draw people in. It might when they see how much they get. Personally, I get my most joiners off the back and I know not everybody wants to do this, but when I go live and I talk about my journey and I talk about what Sensi has done for me and what Sensi has done for my teamies and what it's done, what it could do for them as individuals, that's when most people have contacted me off the back of a live and said, Liz, I need some information. If I've done videos before where I've deconstructed the kit and actually shown the kit, that draws people in. That is an attraction marketing post. So you've really got to think about how you're putting yourself out there on social media. When I go through your social media, for example, on your Facebook, are you somebody that's moaning about the weather, moaning about the um, school run, moaning about the kids, talking about, I don't know, conflicting pol political things on your Facebooks? Therefore, people think, I'm actually going to scroll on past. I'm not going to read that join post that she's just put out there because she's pretty political. That then makes them think you're a pretty political person. So it's really, really important that how you're putting yourself out on that platform, as well as the type of posts that you're producing, is going to be what's going to be drawing people in and attracting them to the business. So um, I am a massive, massive attraction market, market user. To, it doesn't always have to be what you're writing on the post it's more about the image now i do see a lot on facebook where people carbon copy other people's facebook posts and other people's instagram posts and i appreciate that sometimes we don't always have the time to you know produce every single post by yourselves i i completely appreciate that and but what people want to see is individual individuality okay they want to see something that's different especially when it comes to a join or a sponsor post if they're reading your post and they read someone else's and someone else's and someone else's and they're all exactly the same it becomes a bit like well why do i want to join any of you because actually you all write exactly the same information it's like you've been told to write that by your big people that are called sensi so when you're creating these attraction marketing sponsoring posts it's about you really talking about what sensi has done for you make it about you as an individual number one nobody can then copy it because it's about you okay it's your experiences it's you talking about your family it's you talking about your you know what sensi has sensi has changed your life not anybody else's and then also it's talking about how you can you want to be talking about how you can change other people's lives and that's really really important because it doesn't need to all be about you but you do need to have a balance between showing what Sensi has done for you against what it's what it could also do for somebody else. And I think that's really, really, really important because a lot of people, remember, have this, this perception, remember back to our myth busting, where you're, you only want me to join because you're going to earn money off me. So you've got to make your posts about them. You've got to make your posts about Yes, this is what Sense has done for me, but what could it do for you? How could it bring you in? Okay, um, 100% Tam. So political and religious views are definitely not for Facebook. If you want to have those political conversations, you want to have those views, have them in person with your friends and your family. Don't put them on your social media. What you've got to remember is when you put something out there on social media, you cannot bring it back. And it really, it, it's really as simple as that. Once it's out there, it's really tough to bring it back. So make it a drama-free zone. Think about the way that you're putting yourself out there in the world and think about what you want to see. What do you want to see? What is going to draw you in? And that's the sort of thing you should be putting out there. So things that have worked for me. Um, if you've earned an incentive trip, really good opportunity to big yourself up a little bit and say look what i've done look what sensi has allowed me to do i've earned this incentive trip now if you're somebody that sort of says i hear this a lot oh i'm too humble to put a post on about something i've done well no 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 this is where that sensi life comes in and this is where you've got to be confident so i send out these um to my teammates and i always say to them if you get one of these certificates not because i want you to thank me post it on your social media post it out there let people know what what you're achieving because they're gonna there might be someone out there and i've got someone on my team one of my directors that absolutely loves receiving a certificate so some seeing this posted regularly she would have been like 
I want a bit of recognition. What jobs do we get recognition in? So put your recognition out there. Show people, you know, if you get sent something amazing in the post, take a picture of it. Make the picture look pretty. Stick it on your social media. Thank that person publicly if you like. But draw someone in by showing what this does that a nine to five job doesn't. Okay, I, you know, we work, um, all of you, have, most of you have probably had a nine to five job and what recognition do you get regularly from a nine to five job? Do you get certificates? Do you get charms? Do you get pins? Do you get bonuses? Do you get paid obscene amount of monies for, you know, selling? Do you, um, do you get sent little notebooks, little pens or, you know, and I know all of the directors that are in this group, I know they all do that so, so well, but you don't get that in your nine to five job. This is what attraction marketing is all about. Showing. And I remember my friends always going to me, why do you always keep getting presents from your sponsors? And I was like, I love it. I was like, I love it. But they knew that because it was posted on my social media. Don't be frightened to show people, you know, what this business is giving you, as well as obviously what it can do for other people. But don't be frightened to show that you've done well with something. I I'm a firm believer in people want to join, and this is something I'm I, I'm really, really passionate about. People want to join have said to me before in the past, oh, I'm going to join your Sensi team because I think you're going to give me amazing support because I've seen how well you're doing. Boom. That means that I'm doing something right with attraction marketing, whether that's posting pictures about trips that I'm earning or, you know... Um, or, you know, as I say, little certificates that I've got. And when I've got those, don't be afraid to show it because people will want to join you because they see this amazing thing and they're like, oh my God, I need a piece of that pie. Don't be afraid to show your consultant perks. You know, oh, I got this wax bath free, free this week because I put through a qualifying order. Or don't be afraid to show that. Although it, there needs to be a balance. It doesn't want to be me, me, me 24 seven. So get that balance right. Now, um, it's really, I would as well would say, look at people that are in the business that you know, look at people that are surrounding you, whether you might have teachers, you might have nurses, you might have, um, you know, lots of different professions and use that within your post to say, um, you know, ask people for testimonials that are in your groups, in your teams or just in your director's teams and say, is there anybody that would write a testimonial for me about what Sensi has done for them that I can share within my team group. Now, I did this with my group and um, I haven't done it for a while and I might do it again. I got them to literally send me their testimonials. I word swagged them and made them look amazing. And then I posted them literally in my customer group and I posted them in my team group. Um, I posted them in like places when there was, or I printed them to add to like opportunity packs because they're real reviews from real consultants that have had real changes that go on within their life. Again, that's attraction marketing. People want to see that. They want to re read real reviews as opposed to, you know, you just telling them why Sensi could be beneficial to their lives. So that then brings me on to your why. I would probably say, um, you know, hopefully you all know what your why is. We haven't talked about knowing what your why is in this um you know, this boot camp, not because it's not an important part of your journey, but I think you probably hear it so much. And um, I didn't want, we didn't want to start with, you know, let's think about your why all over again. Yes, you need to have a good reason for doing this sensey business. Um, I think people that have got really deep rooted reasons tend to go really far in this business. And if you don't have a why, it's not a problem. It, you, your my why has changed probably, you know, from right at the beginning when it was all about why I joined with my dad to where I am now and that I it's now for me about that I want this to be a sustainable income so that I can spend more time with my children. My why has changed considerably in the last two years, which is absolutely natural. That's that's fine. Life changes and you know things move on. But I think you need to be putting your why out there, whether it's in a post or whether it's just telling people, whether it's when you go to a party and you tell people about why you join this sensey business, what you're getting out of this, what it's doing for you, you need to put that out there in the world. People need to know why you're doing it and what, you know, what impact it's having. I did a live, um, and it was it was quite, it was about a year after my dad passed away, and I went on and I talked about my why and why I was doing this and what 
what impact it was having. And I got three joiners off the back of it. That wasn't the intention of the live. The intention literally was just to go on and share my story. And if you don't like going live, you can do that literally by writing your story, sharing chunks of your story. Um, you know, if you don't want your life to sound like, me, you know, me and Jen were laughing about this this week, like an X Factor story, then then pop a post up and, and really give that, that true inspiration as to why you do why you do this because that is attraction that is attraction so not only down to the type of image you're sending out there it's about the message that you're putting out there it's about you as a brand and these are all things that you need to be thinking about and if you actually have a little scroll down your own Facebook and you think, God, I'm a right negative Nancy, then now's the time to change it. It's really easy to put your negatives somewhere else. Put them out. You know, vent. I always say this to my team. Vent upwards to your sponsors. Vent upwards to your um, directors and your SSDs. Don't vent downwards to your teamies. You know, don't put it out there for the whole world to see that negativity. And then make your Facebook life look like this amazing positive life. Now, here I'm, I hear me when I say this. It's not always roses, okay? It's not always roses. And it's okay to say that. It's okay to say, I've had a really, really bad day today. Things haven't gone my way. Things haven't gone right. But put the butt in I've got home I've put my warmers on I've put my wax on I am sitting with my beautiful diffuser cosily going I've got my favorite tv program I've had a soak in my new coconut bath soak and I now feel at peace amen that is how you use the real life that is maybe isn't so perfect because I do appreciate there are some people out there that will go, oh my God, your life is so not that rosy. It's a load of rubbish. Yeah, it, you know what? Sometimes it's not. And it's okay to say that to people. It's okay to tell people, my t-shirt says it all today, that you're not in a good place in your mind that particular day. But you can turn it around and make it attractive um, it's going to draw people in in the right way rather than going oh my god everybody is feeling sorry for you or everybody's scrolling on past because actually you've had a run as opposed to using it in the right way so sometimes you can use your misgivings in the right way to draw people in and i'm saying that with love if that makes sense um okay what else have i not talked about how long have i been chatting for I don't know how long mm, 25 minutes it's not bad so um let's talk about different types of imagery that you use um i'm going to come back to that word in a minute laura because it's a great word um let's talk about different types of imagery that you use so i talked about here my two different types of imagery when you're creating a join post you need to be thinking about what type of thing you want to be posting now my best join posts um come in two places my first is um the ones i've had the most interaction from are this mug believe it or not this picture or and if you don't like the particular picture that you're taking at the minute when you've got here's a tip for you when you do your hair and your makeup and you look happy with yourself and you're like oh i look all right today you are going to change your t-shirt three times take some selfies of yourself in different places in your house so it looks like it's different days you're going to save them in a folder on your phone. And then when you're having bad hair days, like mine, very greasy today. But when you're having bad hair days, bad face days, spot days, and all of those other things, you're going to have a bank of imagery that is already set up and already ready to go that you literally can use on your personal social media, that you can use on your Instagram, you can use on your stories to then attach your um, join post to. And what I want to ask you is how often you're using these type of posts. How often are you putting out a join post into the world? Is it that you put one out once a week? Do you put one out once a month? Do you put one out never? Um, do you put one on your story once every other day? Are you a regular once a day? You could join my team. Now, Tam and I talked about this. We don't really like that word, that little sentence, you can join my team. So you need to think about this from another way. Um, think about... I could give you an opportunity or you could buy a business in a box. There are lots of other ways that you could say, join my team without actually joining your team. Now, what I want you to start thinking about is how you're going to create that magic join post that's going to draw somebody in. Is it going to be that you're going to be posting about 
what Sensi has done for you. I see quite a lot of images sometimes where people actually save an image from other people's posts or they screenshot it and they leave the big black lines all the way around the picture. You've got a tool on your phone called Crop use it okay because i can promise you when you start to think about your imagery that is going to be magic okay then people are going to read the most amazing join post that you are going to create and so how to create a join post it might be that you need to talk a little bit about what people um what sense is done for you then it might be a little bit about what it could do for them i want you to start thinking about different people that you want to join that are in your in your dream team and then think about right how could sensi i'm going to sound really american now bless their lives okay how could sensi bless their lives and then what you're going to do is you're going to create a post that is literally speaking to that person that's what, what i want you to start thinking about doing so it might be that for example um are you a mum of children that needs more time to be able to spend with her family. There's your headline. Um, do you need to spend more time with your family? Are you running around rugged, taking your kids here, there and everywhere, working a nine to five job, and then you live for your weekends? Ew, I love that saying. Do you live for your weekends? Because you shouldn't be. These are the type of things that you need to be thinking about, like actually using to, once you've got that image, draw people in with that text. That first line is so, so important. Um, or are you speaking to, do you work long hours? Are you a nurse and you work really long hours? Um, straight away, you're going to have all them nurses homing in on that post because you've spoke to them straight away. Do you work crazy shift hours? Um you know, have you got a job that is requiring you to do, take paperwork, an untold amount of paperwork home? I do lots of posts where I'm talking about my life as a PE teacher and where I used to take marking and reports and all of those different things home. Believe it or not, I had it all as a PE teacher. Um, that, that beginning line is going to be, you know, what either makes somebody read and carry on reading or they literally go, yeah, I don't need to read that. Now, it's okay to be able to, um, it's okay to talk to people, if you like, individually. And then, you know, every post could be different about a different type of person. And exactly that, Gem. It's a bit like identify the problem. And this is something that I've been doing on, um, Tam, me and Tam and I have been doing on this Instagram course. And I've learned about this on this LinkedIn course I've been doing. You almost need to identify that problem and then you're going to tell them how you can make that problem amazing. So your hash, that big line should be, you know, are you a teacher that works really long hours? Are, do you have to commute to London every single day? Is your commute to work two hours when you're traveling in your car every single day? Do you want to spend more time with your family? What's the pain point? Okay, what's the problem? What is the problem that you can solve for them? And then you can literally target specifics, target individuals, exactly that time, target specific audiences. You could create 10 different join posts that are targeted at 10 different types of individuals that you want to join your team, but you're literally attracting them by the image and by what you're saying. Now, just going back to imagery, Think about what you're using. Now, I'm a, I am use an app called Wordswag. Um, I love Wordswag. It's really simple to literally take a picture and then add some pretty words over the top. Make sure all of your imagery has got your name on it somewhere, like your business name. My business is So Sense with Lisa Rawwood. So I make sure that my images now have So Sense with Lisa Rawwood, especially the ones that all go on my business page. And if they're going out on a public forum, like a business page, by compliance anyway, they should either have independent sensory consultant or they should have your name or some sort of, um, they should be personalised in some sort of way if you're posting sensory product. So just bear that in mind. Um, if you're putting them out into the world, there needs to be some sort of personalisation. Personalisation also stops people from stealing your pictures. Really good tip. Um, because, you know, your pictures are your pictures. You've spent ages post posing your warmers or, you know, t taking a picture of you that's going to be your join post. You need to make sure that, you know, your pictures are all words fagged. Now, something that I've been doing um, that has changed my attraction marketing, I've started using Instagram. So I'm going off the join post and I'm literally just talking about Instagram and attraction marketing. 
Um, I watched Rachel Pence's um, live on attraction marketing, which actually we could share in here. It's not on sponsoring. It's just on attraction marketing in general, but you can use it for sponsoring. Um, and I'm going to go on to tell you how it's going to work for sponsoring. So what I have done is I've started to use um, a Lightroom preset filter on all of my images that go onto my Instagram. Now, on my Instagram, on my squares um, that everybody sees on Instagram, that now... They are like those shop window um, images that are about me and my life. So what I've learned is people want to see about you and they want to learn about you. And to be drawn in and to join your Instagram page and to join your Facebook page, they want to be able to associate something to you that is going to then make them click that join button or make them click that um, follow button on Instagram. So I did a little survey on my um, social media and I asked all of my friends and family to just pick points that they would accept, things that they would associate with me. The things that come up was mum of boys, um, my new puppy, um, fitness and health, um, being social in my social circles and hashtag that sensey life. Brilliant. Those are now my five platforms that I focus my social media around so when you scroll for my instagram which i don't think i've got the image i had an image here somewhere that i printed off that i used let me just see if i've got it and i don't think i have but feel free you can check out my instagram I'll, I'll pop the link up um so on my instagram you now have there will be like a warmer picture the next picture will be me and a picture of the puppy the next picture might be a picture of the kids then it's a bit more sensey that's stripped in then the next picture might be me in the gym then the next picture might be um the puppy the next picture might be some wax that's stripped in so not every single image on my instagram is sensey 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 join my team sensey 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 join my team because people don't want to see that they would they will see that on your um website they will see that on your business page they want to see something else that's also going to draw them in so for for me i have put a filter on all my images so that they all look the same they've not they all look the same but they've all got the same feel about them they've all got the same warmth they've all got the same saturation literally it was an etsy filter that i bought off of instagram stick it now on all my images and it's made a difference straight away people are now starting to like my posts people are starting to follow um, and this week i've had the first person that has actually come in and asked me about product on my instagram so it's working now she might ask about product to start with but that could turn into a join conversation as time goes on once i start to build that relationship with her now everything that doesn't go on your pretty squares you bung it in your stories. So all the real stuff, like when you're making a cup of tea or you're, um, you know, um, I don't know, having Costa or in the park with the kids or you're doing all those other things and you want to do little, store, little um, you know, videos and you want to share things that aren't filtered and just your actual life, stick it in your stories. Because that's actually what I tend to find. I actually scroll through stories more than I scroll through a feed now. Now, stories have been how I've gained my last three joiners. Um, and literally through attraction marketing, where I'm putting images of what I'm doing with my life and what I'm doing with my kids, people are clicking on my story. And then I will throw a poll in there that will be like, um, I've got a join pack that's ready to go out. Would anyone like some information? And I stick a little poll, yes, no. And I pick pretty picture of my join pack. And I had five yeses off the back of that last month. I had three yeses off the back of that last week. So those people might not all necessarily join my team, but they're all people that it opens up um, those join conversations with because I've used my story and I've used my attraction marketing of how my Instagram looks and how my Facebook looks to get them there to get them clicking on my story so i hope that makes sense i know that was a bit long-winded and i wasn't necessarily talking about attraction marketing there but how you use your social media is attraction marketing in a nutshell in itself so um obviously as people start getting drawn in that's when you can start to build relationships and you can start to see the same people that like your pictures and you can really start to 
work out people that are genuinely interested in the business or just genuinely interested in being a customer. So attraction marketing should be something that you're really using. So I want you to actually go away and look at your social medias this weekend. I want you to look at your personal page. Do I know you're a sensor consultant? If I sent, um, you know, if me and Tam decided to go and look on everybody's personal pages, are we going to see that you're a sensor consultant or do we just see that you're mama boys or that you're, you know, somebody that posted memes all the time? Are you just somebody that, I don't know, doesn't post on your social, your personal page at all and then you just use your um, business pages? So you, you need to be utilising every platform that's available to you to attract people and draw people in. I can honestly say, you know, um, just through on my personal page, posting and um, like, oh, you know, I've earned this trip or, you know, I've done this or I've done done well with this or since it could do this for you. People like it. People, you know, are constantly exactly that. They're always watching, always, always, always watching. Now, if you just to reiterate on this, if you've not been on a trip or you've not earned the trip and you've not done any of that yet, that's okay. You can still talk about people that are within your team. And I've had this before where people have messaged me and said, Lise, can I share your post? And I'm going to attach it to my own post to say, oh my God, look at this. This is what I'm aspiring to do. Yes, there's always some a different way that you can, a different angle that you can tackle these things. And people are always watching 110%. The amount of times, you know, someone will go, Mama, I'm... Okay, one minute, babe. Um, Mom, people will say, Mom. oh, okay, you've got that. People will say, look, so I'm going to join your business. Um, and you go, oh, my God, I didn't even know that they was interested. I didn't even have a clue. But it's literally because they're watching your journey. I've had, and I'm, and I, this sticks with me, and I'm going to sort of leave you with this. Um, I did a party once, and I had a lady that said to me, Lise, um, and I didn't know her, she happened to live near my mum and dad, and I went, she went, Lise, I'd really like you to do a party for me, and I said, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, so I went to her house, turned up, none of her guests turned up, it was just me and her. She was like, I'm so sorry, like, nobody's coming. And I was like, look, it's absolutely fine, let's sit down, you've got cake, let's have cake and a cup of tea, I'll go through the products with you. And she said, I've got to be honest, she said, the reason I wanted to have a party was because I follow your social media and I just wanted to see if you was the same as that person that you seem to always put out there in your lives, um, in your posts and in everything that you do. And she was like, and you are, you literally are that person that's on your social media. So for me, that gave me a big tip to say, I must be doing something right. I'm getting the two, the two are marrying up. And it's really, really important that you're using though, that the right way, because that was just one example. So if she's seeing that, it means that I'm doing something the right way. It's drawing people in. So when you, you're doing the same, you really need to think about how you're using your um, branding, how you're using your social media and how you're attracting people because people are always watching, always, always watching. So your activity, I'm sure there's more that I could add on this and I could talk about attraction marketing all day long. I really could. Um, oh, on another note, go away and follow a few people that do it well. I am going to post you some instagram um accounts that do this really really well feel free to follow mine feel free to follow tam um but do not go away and carbon copy what they're doing use it as inspiration and then make your own do your research see what other people are doing and then make your own okay so what we want you to do your activity for today if you haven't caught up on all the other activities go back and do those first okay um, but this is going to be a really good weekend activity because people are available and they're on their social media. You're going to watch the live and give some comments. Please give us some feedback. We love hearing what this, you know, what this is doing for you. We want to hear all of the amazing things that you're doing all the time. Um, practice what you're going to say when somebody asks you what you do for a living. So if somebody says, what do you do? What's this candle thing you do? I used to always say, uh, and I probably still do, oh yeah, I sell this thing that's sort of a bit like candles. That's not a really good line. You know, saying to somebody, I'm actually a business coach and I'm an entrepreneur. How amazing does that sound? Um, I'm actually a home fragrance specialist. How good does that 
that sound. Think about what you're going to say to people about what you do. Um, now that you're having more conversations with people and you've watched this live, you need to feel prepared about what people are going to, what you're going to say to people, how you're going to attract them in. And then what we want you to do, um, we can we can give you some examples. Um, we want you to create a post that you are, that's going to make you want to join Sensi. You're going to create a post that's going to make you want to not scroll on by. Um, your dream team member, you're going to be reaching out to that dream team member. This is why we asked you to write who your dream team member is. So if you made it really wild and you were like quite happy to recruit everybody, this is where you need to be a little bit more specific. Do you want the nurses? Do you want the teachers? Do you want the mums? Do you want the dads? Do you want the professionals? Be a little bit more specific. We now want you to try and recruit yourself by creating a post that is going to recruit you. Okay, the I want you post. Make it engaging, um, make the imagery engaging. And what we want you to do, if you're unsure before you post it and you want to get feedback, you can stick it in the activities um, post and we will try and give feedback to as many of them as we possibly can and sort of say, look, we need to change this. And this is actually where we're going to draw in the help from any of your directors and any star directors that are on here. If people are posting and you want to give feedback directors and star directors, please help us because we're getting 50, 60, 100 comments, um, we would love some extra help. And then what you're going to do when you've got it looking perfect you are going to post it on Instagram. You're going to post it on your personal page. You're going to post it on your business page. But here's my big tip. You're going to post one this morning, one at lunchtime and one tonight. Or post one, make sure you're posting them at different times because Facebook has these things called algorithms. I'm not going to go into too much detail. But if you post all on your social medias all at once, all you're competing with is yourself. So to make sure people see it, they need to be posted on at different times. Don't post them all on at the same time. Biggest tip for you. Anyway, has anyone got any questions? We are going to start uploading these to YouTube as well at some point. So you will be able to catch these all on YouTube. Camille, you was really scared what people think. It doesn't matter, hun. Do you know what? I had a real, I went for a real phase of being like, I knew that there was some mums at the school that were talking about me. They still do. They still do. But you grow a thick skin to it and be like, I do not care. At the end of the day, if you want this business to work and you want it to go forward, here's the rule. People can either delete you, they can scroll past you, or they can talk about you. It doesn't really matter. If they're going to talk about you, they're not kind of people. You don't need them in your lives. Simple as that. Um, can you do this every day, please? Of course. I love it. I love coming live every day. I should do this on my channel. Live with Lisa. I love it. Um, I've had so many people say they've been watching for ages. Yeah, it's really, it is really rewarding when someone just comes out of nowhere. I love it. People are always watching. Um, yeah, write it down, Linz. That's, that's the job. I love that, Gemma. So Gemma shares a quote in the same style every every two posts on your grid i love that i tried doing it but i just wasn't organized enough so i'm like i'm better off just posting selfies and my family so yeah you post what works for you but you find your own style within your social media i think that's really really important um like for example i've got to say this if i know laura's watching but when if i took laura's name off of a post and then i looked at a post I could tell the difference between Laura's post and somebody else. If you don't follow Laura Sawkins, go and follow Laura Sawkins. Um, her posts on Instagram and social media are not only positive, but they, they have emojis, they have a style. You can literally hear Laura talking. And that is the sort of thing that attracts people in. And I know that Laura doesn't have to go out. Still two years in this business. She doesn't actively look for recruits. They literally find her because she attracts your markets in the most amazing, positive way. So if you don't follow Laura Sawkins go and follow her i'm sure she could post some of her amazing um posts um beverly how do i answer the pyramid scheme myth right do you want to know what i say i say okay i worked for a school there was a head teacher at the top he had deputy heads they had assistant heads they had leaders of departments and then there was us little minions that were just PE teachers at the bottom is that a pyramid and they go yeah so a pyramid scheme is only a pyramid scheme if you are directly taking away their money. So if you were directly taking your team's pennies and that was going in your pocket, 
then yes, it's a pyramid scheme. If there was no product that they were actually going to get at the end of it and you were just selling a business, that is a pyramid scheme. But Sensi sells product, Sensi sells a real opportunity and it's exactly the same as in any other business. There's always someone at the top. The difference in this business, I got to the top in two years. Tam got to the top, top in two years. This business, anybody can get to the top and that's what I leave with them, Beverly. Anybody can get to the top of this business. So therefore, it's not a pyramid scheme. Just depends how hard you want to work their business, literally. And yes, pyramid schemes are illegal, completely illegal. Um, anyway, guys, I am going to love you all and leave you. Um, and I will speak to you all very soon. See you later.